Hello, welcome back to MBE. Today I want to explain, I have two different wedge heads that we do here. We have a 13 degree head that we mainly sell to power adders. And then we have our 10 degree wedge head. They look completely identical if you look at them. Everything looks identical. We can go to this side. Everything looks the same. But there is some big differences between the two. And the reason why we do this, um, unlike some, what we do, I won't sell you something that's not for your application. So um, even though we have this 10 degree head, I will not sell this to you if you run a power adder with it. And I mean any kind of power, it doesn't matter if it's nitrous, procharged, uh, turbocharged, whatever it is. What we're going to do if it's a if it's that we're going to go to the we're going to go to the 13 degree head and vice versa if you're running nor, normally aspirated meaning no power adder then we'll put you in the 10 degree head and we'll explain the differences between the two but first i just want to explain why the 13 degree is more power adder friendly than the 10 degree okay so you can see the chambers are larger you can kind of see this a little bit okay because of the valve angle that produces a larger chamber okay but one of the main differences is when you look at the plug placement okay so we have a number here let's just do a little quickie from the center of the seats okay so let's just say 800 800 thousandths now we come over to here and it's over an inch 100 okay to get to the plug. So the plug is 350 thousandths back. Plus it's in a completely different position. If we look, it's turned, it's turned more than this one is. But that is all to make sure that it does not detonate. So you can run more nitrous, so you can run your power adder. Because your power adder is what is is what's going to make the most power, not compression. So that is the difference between a 13 degree and a 10 degree head. Okay, you look at the 10 degree head, look at how much quench is in the 10 degree head, the flat areas. It's very drastic what we have here, okay? Well, that will promote detonation in, in something with a power adder. So we do not sell this 10 degree head for that. So this would be for NA versions. We have a drag race version for this. We also have a sprint car version for this. We have, and we also have a midget version. So we have different sizes for different cubic inches and different RPMs. We also have all of this for this, okay? Um, because of this plug placement, this plug placement's a little bit happier with methanol, so we do suggest that if you're running methanol, plus I can put down nozzles in this head. But I, so there you go, 10 degree wedge head, normally aspirated, no power adder, same cost, 13 degree drag, four power adders. Now you can see no quench here at all, soft chambers in it, Pour the nitrous to it, pour your power adder to it, boost, boost, nitrous, nitrous, whatever you want to do. So that's the difference between um, coming to MBE, that I just won't put you in a 10 degree head, that's because we have it. These are our own castings, so I can move guide boards, I can do whatever we want. This is a, these are different castings, it's not like, I cannot put this into this, it will not work. Um, that's because of the way the water jackets are, because of the different valve angles and everything. So everything is done. We're very particular about everything. So I hope that explains why this is so power, uh, power adder friendly compared to the 10 degree. Um, and a lot of grudge racers run these. It's a very popular head. We have no problem not putting our logos on them uh, for the grudge racers because it's a, basically it's a wedge head with a power adder that will make more than any SB2 and more than any, uh, any splayed valve, Chevrolet splayed valve head, including our own. This will smoke it. All right, so thank you for listening and hanging out with MBE today.